fight commentary breakdowns. The JKD hobbyist, of course, is with the long hair. Oh, oh, no idea how to deal with any of these punches. He's just covering up the boxing guys really bad, too. Oh, no. What are we watching? No. No. All right. So. Oh, that was an attempt at JKD. I think I've seen some attempts at JKD. Um, but why would you challenge him to a boxing match? Why would you challenge a boxer to a boxing match? Especially if you're both in gloves. What do you guys think about that? Jeez. Come on. I mean, he sure punches like a JKD guy. man. Dude, this boxer's taking care of him. With just, like, they're not even good punches. No, um, no, um, it's not coming from the ground, none of these punches. But just, he, the, this boxing hobbyist might have superior weight. Oh, man. Oh, some of you are going to get mad at me for bringing you guys such a low quality match. But we got to show these, man, because these people are representing JKD, man. I want... JKD people, you're always welcome to be featured, okay? I have one JKD guy who um, flaked on me. Um, other JKD people, you're welcome to show me stuff, man. So, again, this is not the other JKD guy, Feng Xia, because we already promised never to cover him again because that guy made JKD look bad. So, I wanted to give Chinese self-proclaimed JKD practitioners another chance but instead, we get this. We get this, man. Apparently, um, this coach is... I'm sorry, not the coach. This referee is a very famous um, like world-class coach in China. Um, our JKD guy is getting a standing count. Is that it? Oh, he stood up. I mean, props to Hart, but... You obviously, you're not the same weight class. You're not the same skill level. Whatever lack of skill the boxing guy has, the JKD guy has it worse. But, whoa, okay, all right, not bad. You can't just keep, keep the same level. You dodge it. You got to return. Cut the angle, man. Like, I've seen past JKD examples where they're always thinking about angles, man. JKD practitioners let me know, oh, my goodness, man. This is on the level of Lele versus Wang Zhiliang. Remember that? When the Kung Fu Master fought the Tai Chi Master, Lele took kickboxing for like a year. And he tried to fight a Kung Fu guy. Remember the really China's funniest Kung Fu Master? And he lost so badly. Dude, what is going on, man? A few moments later. The boxer's name is Pi Zifei. Pi Zifei. And the JKD guy's name is Ku Hai. Ku Hai. <laughs> Ku Hai. That's a very famous Chinese song. Cantonese song. Cantonese song. Shout out to my Hong Kong viewers. Canto viewers. There's a song. It's like Ku Hai. I'll sing it later in the outro. Oh, the boxer has dialed it up. The boxer is swinging with zero defense, man. He's got the defense of Nate Robinson and the um, explosiveness of Logan Paul, but it's working against this JKD guy who's on his second standing count. It's not even a standing count. It's a, I mean, he's not standing. I don't know what this is. Second whatever count. Woo! Uh, I'm sorry, guys. If anyone was expecting something good, you know. Um, oh, okay. That's a TKO. That's a TKO. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Rough, man. Rough and tough. The JKD guy's name is Kuhai, which reminded me of one of my favorite songs. In fact, I watched that movie again yesterday. So that's how much that song is so good. Um, it's from 
this Chinese movie called Da Hua Xiyo. Um, it's a Stephen Chow, if you're familiar with Xing Ye. It's a Stephen Chow movie, and this movie's like the love theme in it. So whenever I heard Ku Hai, I'm like, man, you remind me of that song. Um, if you guys haven't seen Da Hua Xiyo, definitely go watch it. I don't think it's the his best movie, but it's his most kind of thought out philosophical movie. And Ku Hai means like a, a lot of hurt. Ku Hai Fan Si Ai Hen. Anyways, I'm not going to butcher the song, but it's a really good song and it's a really cool philosophical movie about, you know, before you maybe do what this guy does and kind of just like focus on something, there's certain things, there's certain kind of things you might call distractions. Give yourself an opportunity to dwell in, dwell in a little bit. Anyways, that goes beyond the scope of this channel. Maybe I need a movie review channel. I need to get back into my philosophical channel that I used to have. Back on topic, I want all of you guys to help me with this. So 2010, 2010 or 2009, back when YouTube was only a few years old, I saw this match. I believe it was a Larry Hartzell student. So a JKD guy. And he competed in what looked like Pride. I believe it was Pride. And he was doing very good JKD. And he actually won the match. And I remember this match clearly. He was a white guy. He was on the ground on the bottom. And he somehow got up and, you know, out chain punched or whatever. So if any of you know what match I'm talking about, it's like a younger looking white guy. I believe he was a student of Larry Hartzell. And he was using JKD MMA type of mixed martial art in some kind of MMA style tournament, but it wasn't a cage, it was a ring. That's why I think it's pride. If any of you can help me find that clip, because it might look like I'm featuring bad JKD, all I wanna do is find JKD tested, okay? So if any of you wanna show JKD on my channel, please come on. This is an encouragement for all of you. If you think JKD isn't properly represented right now on Fight Commentary Breakdowns, please come. Because I've invited JKD people in the past and they flaked. So I want some JKD people. Invitations out there. Xian